What's going on guys? It's Scotty Restores Kicks and today I'm going to be icing some Air Jordan Laser 4. So check it out. All I see is icy icy. All I see is icy icy. Scotty Restoring Kicks and all I see is icy icy. Whoa. Alright, so for icing these shoes, I am going to be using the indoor method. This is my first time ever using the indoor method. I decided to try it out, see if it works. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you the shoes real quick. Here we go. Here are the Laser 4s. As you can see, they're not terrible. They are, they do have that yellow, but they're not terrible. You can see there still is some blue in here and a little bit on the toe box. There's still some blue. However, obviously they need to be clean. We've got some debris and stuff in there. These got to be definitely iced. And uh, I want to put this to the test and see if this really works as indoor method. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously sauce to put on the bottom of them so you can get that icy blue back. Um, what I'm using is ice cream by Raleigh Restorations. Uh, I found them on YouTube, so shout out to them. I found them in saw a lot of good reviews from their product and a lot of people said that it really works so i decided why not i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna try it i just got this today so i'm super excited to actually start this i am again going to be doing the indoor method which means i bought a uv light i bought it on amazon for around 70 bucks i'll put it in the description down below and i made my own indoor setup now if you guys want to see how i made the indoor setup Put it down in the comments and I will do another video on that. Now that we went through a little overview, we're going to go right into the action and we're going to start icing these shoes up. So to start, these are the main things you're going to need. Obviously, the first thing is definitely the sauce. Find something you can use. I know there's a lot of homemade uh, sauces that people make, so I'm going to look into that in the future. If you guys want me to try to make my own and see if those work, I'll do that for you guys. Uh, but for now, I am going to use this and see if this works. The next thing you need is some sort of cleaning kit. Uh, this one, I'll be honest, <laughs> I got this one on sale somewhere. Um, I was buying a bunch of these and actually reselling them. And uh, I decided, you know, I have some extra ones, why not use it? Uh, it comes with the brush and it comes with three different types of cleaner. Uh, it says a freshener, sneaker cleaner, and then I guess a waterproof uh, shoe shield. So that's pretty cool. So this is what I'm gonna be using. It's called Soft Soul, uh, if you guys wanna check it out. Next thing you're going to need is some painter's tape. I'm putting this on the midsoles of the shoe just so I don't get anything on that. As you can see already, my paint is chipping pretty badly, um, but I am probably going to restore that soon too. I am getting some paint in. I'm just waiting for it to come in. Um, so if you guys want to see that too, that'll be my first time ever painting shoes. So let's see if I can do it. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos though, so hopefully it helps. Um, but yeah, so I do got to clean this up, but Still, I'm gonna put the tape up here just in case so it doesn't get anything on the midsole or the upper. Also, when you're doing that, some sort of scissors. Uh, I use an X-Acto knife. I like that because I can actually like get around and edge around it, so it's a perfect cut. Um, some sort of knife, but again, X-Acto knife is probably the best. They're really cheap. You probably have one at home. And then you're also going to need cling wrap. Okay, you get this right at the store. Uh, with the cling wrap, what you're gonna do is which we're gonna walk through it, but I'm gonna put the sauce on here, put the cling wrap over it, and put it tight to it, and then I can put it under. And the last thing you need is your indoor setup, which I already have. But again, if you don't, you can use the outdoor method, which is leaving it outside under the sun. However, I've stayed away from that because I've had my times from where the soles have separated, and that is something you do not wanna deal with, trust me. So I heard this is the safest method it does take a little bit longer of time. However, you don't have to be watching over it the whole time. You can actually just let it go. So I'm gonna be letting these sit for actually 24 hours for one session. I'm gonna see how many sessions it takes for it to get uh, icy blue, and I'm gonna let you guys know. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up the shoes. Right now I'm just gonna be cleaning the bottoms of the shoes, scrubbing it really good. I found out I had gum and some rocks stuck in it under the shoe. So what I ended up doing is I ended up using that X-Acto knife that I had and kind of scraping at it. Be sure not to dig in too far. If you kind of just swipe at it from an angle, it'll end up coming off. And then again, I just reapplied the solution. All right guys, so the next thing I did was tape up the midsoles. Again, you don't have to do this, but the reason I'm doing it is to protect my midsoles and my upper to make sure that if any of the ice cream happens to drip down, then my shoes will be protected. 
All right guys, so now it's time to put the ice cream sauce on. So I started by putting about a quarter size of the ice cream on a plate. I then started going lightly over the sole. Now listening to what other people say, they said don't put too much, but yet make sure there is enough so that it can become icy. With this being my first session, I did go on the lighter side of it. However, I did put enough to where we should see results. And now one of the final steps before we throw it in the ice box is putting the cling wrap on it. So I put it over it and then I ended up taping each side down just to make sure it stays in place. Now I do gotta say, you gotta be careful when putting the cling wrap on. Make sure as soon as you put it down, you keep it there. Cause I did notice if you end up moving it and trying to make it tighter, it ends up that the ice cream sauce can stay on it and it'll get on the side of the shoe. All right guys, so now the moment we've been waiting for, putting it in the ice box and letting the ice box do its magic. And let me say the slogan real quick. Wanna be icy? It starts in the soul. So two quick things I want to know about this when you have your own indoor setup. What I did is in each shoe, which you don't see, I put two candles actually in it to hold it down on the one side. And then what I did is I took that cling wrap and I put it under the toe so then it can be flat up and not at an angle. All right, guys, so now we wait. It's 613. I'm going to see you in 24 hours. All right, guys, so it hasn't been a full 24 hours. It's been about 16 hours. But I went to check on the shoes and I noticed that the sauce is gone off of them. Um, and with that, like, I don't see any sort of remnants of the sauce. So what I'm going to do is put some more on and start my second session now, only because it's dried up. And like I said, I didn't put a lot on the first session. However, these results are crazy. Again, I can't tell if you guys can see it really good from there because it looks different in person than through the camera. Um, but... What I'm going to do for you guys is, you'll probably see it right now, I'm going to put pictures side by side uh, of the progression from starting to three hours in to now, about 16 hours in. And guys, I'll say the biggest thing, because I've only used, looked at this shoe, These are, that's where the pictures are from. As you can see, probably better in the pictures, but down in here is getting all blue. Right now, it's getting all blue. And then up here on the side, this was already kind of close, but this is getting blue. This was already blue pretty much. And here is getting blue. One of the big things I was noticing was the toe. That yellow is almost completely gone on the toe and it is actually turning that full icy blue. And then I think the biggest thing I was happy about, which I didn't know if it was possible, is right here I have, this is a deep yellow dot. I don't know like what these come from I think it's either when stuff stuck in it or something I don't know um but if you look from the first picture you couldn't tell as much because there's so much yellow on on the shoe and then in the second picture you can see how three hours in you could just see this because everything around it was getting blue so I was thinking that's probably going to stay that color well however 16 hours later and that thing is actually going down a lot and I believe that's going to go away um, pretty good. But that's the left shoe. I haven't even checked this shoe out yet. So this is what we're looking at with this one. Um, the toe is complete ice. The toe is, I, again, I can't tell if you guys can see, it's complete ice. I'm going to take the saran wrap off too in a minute and clean them up before I put the next solution on. But I just wanted to show you guys what I'm seeing before I take it off. Down in here is probably the part where we're going to need the most work. But again, right here, if you look from an angle, I can actually see down and kind of see that blue right in there. Again, blue on the sides, blue, blue toe almost completely. The next step is to clean these off the way we cleaned them in the beginning, taking whatever soap solution or sneaker cleaner and scrubbing it up, wiping it off. And then once it dries, then we're going to put the next solution on about the same thing, same process. And then, again, we're going to put it in there. I'll probably keep checking in again. We'll see where we're at by then. So, here we go.
All right, guys, so there it is. This is the end of session two. We're just looking at ice, guys. That's all we're looking at. Sure, we might have a little bit in here, but besides, maybe a little bit here. But look at, if you look at the before and after, look at this. This, I didn't think was coming back to life. This is there. But this hole, the toe, we are back to icy. We are back to icy, guys. Look at this. Even the heels are back icy. Look at that. I'm here to say the indoor method does work. All right, guys, so I'm here to tell you that the indoor method does definitely work. Look at this ice, guys. I am so happy just to see these results, guys. I was a little skeptical if this was gonna work, especially because I've never used this sauce before. I've never used the indoor method. And this is after only two sessions, guys. And I'm gonna end it on that with those two sessions. Again, it does look better in person. So if you do see some areas that look a little yellow, they don't look like that as much in person, but through the camera they might. Uh, however, this is the finished results, guys. Look at that before and after. Look at that before and after. Crazy. Let me know if I did a good job, guys. So yeah, guys, that is how to ice your Air Jordan 4's Laser Edition with the indoor method. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or videos that you want to see, please put it in the comments down below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And please, if you really like this channel and you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, okay? Subscribe to the channel and get some icy bottoms like this. So it's Scotty Restore's Kicks and I'm out.